Coming up, a dire warning on... A code red for humanity, the dire warning on climate change. The Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. It is the starkest warning yet that a climate crisis is putting at risk the lives of billions. A landmark report from the UN says that without drastic reductions in greenhouse emissions, the world will reach the global warming limit within the next 20 years. With that will come more devastation and extreme weather, including heat waves, droughts and floods. The scientists say the cause is clear human activity. Boris Johnson has described it as a wake-up call for the world to take action now. And as our political reporter Shihab Khan reports, experts warn that every fraction of a degree matters. We're hoping to talk some more about the response to that report in just a moment. First, let's get the latest on the fires that are burning in southern Europe. ITV's Good Morning Britain's Jonathan Swain is on the Greek island of Evia, where villages and holiday resorts are now almost deserted. Jonathan Swain reporting there from Evia in Greece. Moving on, most COVID restrictions have been removed in Scotland. Limits on numbers at social gatherings have gone as of physical distancing rules, except in healthcare settings. However, some measures remain, such as the need to wear face coverings on public transport. Our Scotland correspondent Peter Smith is in Edinburgh and he sent this. Peter Smith in Edinburgh then. Meanwhile, a new study by the Office for National Statistics has found a fall in the number of people who are unwilling or unsure about having a COVID vaccine. Our reporter Mark McQuillan is here. So Mark, what does this data tell us? Well, this is significant. Got their first dose on Friday following the extension of the vaccine rollout. They found that for 16, an encouraging trend, particularly around... Thank you. The Taliban have rejected calls for a ceasefire as they continue their advance through Afghanistan. They have captured the strategically... Still to come. But first, almost 100,000 people have signed a petition calling on the Prime Minister to halt the destruction of an alpaca who tested positive for bovine tuberculosis. Let's go on to some of the day's other stories and Vodafone will reintroduce roaming charges for customers travelling to the EU. The final members of Team GB's Olympic squad have arrived back in Britain this lunchtime at the end of another hugely successful Games. Great Britain finished with a total of 65 medals, far higher than the 52 predicted by experts ahead of the tournament. And as Sangeeta Lau reports, there's already talk of what's to come in three years' time when Paris hosts the next Olympics. Well, our correspondent Rachel Younger is at the arrivals hall at Heathrow where our Olympians are returning home this lunchtime. Rachel, the games are over, but the celebrations are ongoing. <laughs> Gosh. Finally, it was just time to tell you an update on China's famous herd of wandering elephants. The group of 14. And that's it. Charlene will be here with the evening news at 6.30. The news where you are follows the national weather. But for now, from everyone here on the lunchtime team, bye bye. Hello again, now the main stories in London. A man from Poplar has been jailed for a series of sex attacks on women in Tower Hamlets. The owner of Southend Airport says it, he is agnostic about Ryanair pulling its flights from the site later this year. Withdraw Silver medalist Ethan Hayter has touched down in London after his Olympic success in the velodrome. The site a 21-year-old student from London who set up a club so other Muslim women can feel safe while exercising said she is proud to have inspired a group to take part in the Vitality Big Half later this month. And 60 children have been taken part in a football coaching session with former England footballers at Wembley. It's part All right, time for the weather now. Here's Holly Green. And Olympian Mallory Franklin will be joining us later on the programme at 6. And that's it. Duncan is back here at six. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.